Definitely a bit of a peculiar veto for them. Oh, it's a bit of a grudge match. KC obviously took foot out of the running for Masters Madrid, and now foot look for revenge early on in the group stage. KC off to a great start. So are foot, both dominating the early games. A good limpness test or who the stronger squad is this time around. I'm expecting a close series. I'm expecting all three. We can see here on this pistol round, the attack side of KC is under a bit of threat. They tried to take control on B. Maybe the idea to go back later on. And well, that's definitely the idea now after losing Tamazi and Martin. Tamazi being down means no Viper wall as well. So crossing out into this site could be difficult. The good thing is there's only one player here to defend, Tom. Yeah, the bad thing is it's it. Now he's got himself the wall still if he wanted to try and sort of section... Oh, no, wait, no, he doesn't. Never mind. He no, brought he used armor. It. He used the so wall he's gonna, inside he's of... He's just uh, used a it, yeah. He moved bath. over to use it a minute ago and has just locked off that angle. So it means he can just hold on to some of those positions. And with 30 seconds left... 30 seconds well, it's left. It's going to take them a little bit of time to even break through this if they wanted to. We've seen him be ever so deadly in these positions before, but for now, they are going to clear that spot. They know where he is, and the rotation's coming in for the rest of the team. That wall's going to go down at some point. There it is. There's a player behind him. It should be an easy kill. See, that's turned, though, and he's caught Magnum. Now he's caught in the open, attempting to make that pinch happen, and now the spike is down. It's another disaster for the attack. It's one that normally saves you, but up against his foot side, it's definitely been a little bit more problematic. Mr. Fallen himself, ever deadly. The pressure coming in. Martin over the top. The counter flash is good. Both blinded up by a dizzy. They are now going to look to wrap around. Spike will be going down, nothing to be stopping that. And now it has to be a retake with weaker weapons. Some advantages maybe if they can force those close range fights. But it looks like they're out in the open. Mr. Fallen's good for the first, but their numbers are quickly thinning out. Mr. Fallen shot in the back with no chance. It's seen it. He covered. And we've already got the paranoia down, but flashes from Magnum still exist. Dizzy up top, there's a deep flash from Magnum, keeping these players trapped in, allowing individual fights to be taken. A KC are winning again and again. Yedige and Mr. Fallen, the last ones to try and fight their way back through. You can see Yedige still on the other side of the map. That was a quick take from KC. You can see why they didn't take the op there. They need their guns for charging right down that site. And it's worked out very well. An almost unlosable post plant. Mr. Fallen does well to find the first. The snake bite a little deep. Oh no, it's not a little deep. In fact, Martin was hit by it, so he's easier taken down. But a 1v2. Double flash is also going to be that little bit more difficult to deal with. They're ready. They're waiting for this push to come through. A wise play by the side of KC, and the reward is there. Paranoia, though, that's going to make it awkward. Tamazi's so low, and there was nowhere to go. Pushed from every side. That's making great use of a low buy from the side of Foot. They've claimed a weapon, and CNET's claimed a kill. That plant might be undeniable, but if CNET could survive, oh, they'd have the numbers. Still, Thrash ready to go for Mr. Fallen. And he's legging it. And the rain. He's on his way around to long, presumably to use that to, to break his way through. The, the time is still good to make this work. Yeah, that's the thing. You can see the rate has fallen back to a position where he can use his as well. Both teams are basically having the potential idea and already right there. stopping it from getting any real right value. Monster now becomes the, <laughs> the opposing side as we oh, are going to see the TP. Nice down. idea from out of captain, but not quite dealt with quick enough. Work. The defuse is already happening. Halfway Stop through the it. spam is going to at least One drop it. But remaining. for now, Mr. Farlin needs this kill and he needs it immediately. Oh. does manage to get it. I don't know if there's going to be enough time. I think he's just yeah. about got it over the line. Just Missed to crunch these plays. You can see the KC were ready for that kind of aggression, but couldn't deal with it. But the two, Viper's pit online, off oh, rip. The defensive side back in control of things. Uh, and it looks like KC are going to, they're not going to no go into it. No way. No way. Shin's actually just TP'd straight in. And because of everything going on on the side, I don't even know if they're going to realize. Yedashe has somehow managed to so peek his way that little bit further forward, surviving just outside. But he's down to just 20 HP. Has to fall off this completely. And now Shun's position is just basically holding off any rotations. He got back in the pit, but the B site is no longer the target. KC have realized how many players are coming their way, and there's the info. Cracks knows if he's detected two players, they're on the rotate. They're pushing up. There's a lurk left behind by Martin to pick up stragglers as heaven control is sought after. Shin still with a smoke, but no paranoia to clear out these angles. Instead, they'll drop, though. Keep heaven control, I presume, and get a nice safe plant. Look, chopping up the site in a, a very different way. Spike planted. But Foot have positions all across the yeah, map. They're so scattered. Good. And the surprise <laughs> factor could catch them a couple of kills. Although they've lost Mr. Fallen, lost their way back through, out of captain. 
isolated and dealt with, and now it's it's impossible. As soon as Yedeje falls, we realize cracks 1v4. So oh, otherwise it might be a problem. Now though, they look to try and pick up the pace alongside the Seekers. The slow is going to deny them a little bit of time, and actually, combined with a Mosh, it's allowed at least for an extra rotation to come in. Kill on Yedeje, the numbers thinning. Good fights for foot, left. as they now have to concede the site, though. With the TP coming through, this player's in spawn. They try to just hold the push, hold the angle, so KC don't get any extra space. They end up losing their life to it. Crack still with two flashes. Could try to play into the pit, but they're separated. It, it, it's one thing fighting through a pit, fighting through it from two different angles. It's only going to be even more difficult. You can see Cracks will try to get an angle, but his teammate's already fallen to a shorty, and now his HP, it was a, a strange play, to say the least. One that hasn't netted the value. Five to three, KC now face off against a low buy. This is where Foot were terrifying up against Team Liquid on Icebox. Well, the whole series, Icebox is the most memorable one. Let's see if we can add Bind to the tally. Shin doing his best to make sure that doesn't happen. Already cleared out the, the real danger of that close range angle, and they're going. They're still going to fight up close. That almost came with a hefty cost, but Crax gets nothing. CNET not a captain. Rash isn't done with you. Oh, wow. They're not having an easy time. Thrash already caught one. Clean kill. How much can CNET make this? Oh, oh, that's a beautiful double. Still, I would say it's on the verge of unwinnable. Unless they give him the fight of his life up top. We just pick the weapon and get out of here. But he wants to drop those. He wants to try for it. The wall up. The fuse won't even get half. And they know now he's not on it. One time alone, it seems like they've won. And indeed, it's locked in. Weapon retrieved. But no even way. still, 6-3. to three. Looking good so far for KC. Cracks has been quiet, but he got off to a good start in this round. Again, though, Tamazi, someone to highlight in every single match. His Cypher in their last game was sublime, and his Viper He's crazy. still looks to be on point. Shin trying to re-aggress. The pot flush is good, but even still, oh! Cracks finally has awoken. A third already in the round for him, a pot flash. He's looking for more. 8 HP, and he's One still pushing one. forward. Has the support of Cena and one or eight. The reason I that Foot fight. lost that long fought battle on Lotus was because this man had 40 kills. So I don't think Foot are going to take him lightly. Well, we've got a lot of respect for Cena. He's earned it. I think Narrate has too. Tier two duelist to top of the world almost in stats. This guy's unbelievable. But this 1v4, well, he's got time on the clock, but just look at the positions of foot. As soon as contact is taken, all eyes will be on Narrate. I hope he's got a, a high sense to catch this 364 okay. more rounds. It definitely isn't a death sense since Martin, though, doesn't seem to want to allow that. An instant usage straight through the TP of the Thrash. And it has actually been a player to follow. This will give KC the information that maybe they can go back in the other spike direction. Down, but there are spawn. still a couple of players here. Well, I think the main problem is that that spike is now down on the floor. Yes. It, it, it's been locked down by foot. Only two players. But they could take the TP and, and further reinforce this. Problem is, Orb just claimed for Shin. One away from getting his ultimate. If he wins a fight, they could just TP, claim that spike back the, the easy way, so to speak. Narrate doesn't have a dizzy. Didn't manage to retrieve it early on. It means you can't just flash them and go seize this. Here comes the rest of foot. The rotations oh, have come him. in. Now there's four players. They're eight. Oh, he had some support, but the wall completely blocked off Martin. So everybody's just staring at that angle. Nice and easy. The TP used, but not <laughs> successfully. They've blocked him out from claiming the spike. And with 40 seconds left, they have a long Someone's run in. to go on. You've still got Martin close, but... I mean, he's got four players to fight, a spike to retrieve, and a site to plant it on after. They might already left. be thinking about the next round, because yeah. this one's out of play. Yeah, the credits aren't really in the spot either now for Casey. Throwing away some weapons it wouldn't really be the ideal scenario. He is waiting for Mr. Fallen to go down. The knife kept the wrong site. That knife is going to be can oh, sorry, the knife will cancel out, the ult will cancel it out, but luckily they've gone the right way, so the rocket's online and it's caught out of Captain. Ah, that's a good start. That will not only potentially get him an upgrade in terms of weaponry, but it's also taken so much space to shot off, gives up where Tom is he standing. Mr. Farlin still holding strong, but will fall. Cleared out by KC. And while now you have seen that no command put into play, but... There's not a lot left, really, that Casey could have utilized. <laughs> Just look at these angles, man. Martin's got a stinger, but what we don't see is 
What's in his hand? A shorty holding the close angle. Means his teammates inside Lambs don't have too much to worry about despite their low HP. Good shot as Yadage falls and denial of the diffuse with a gap in the wall. Something to help them get those plants. KC want to get aggressive towards Lambs. Fighting on the corner. Two players ready and stacked up. Good shots connected by Martin and then Narrate swings. Sees nobody. They've already claimed the space. Denied the push and left foot sat back. Key thing here, Yedege, his wall is down. You know that means they're not looking to cross up and take that space anymore. But for KC, it doesn't mean that they have to rotate and play this crazy. They've actually made a very good call, I think in a pistol round especially, to just have the fall back on B, give the side up completely, and leave Tamazi watching it. A retake on one side of the map, and a full stack on the other. This is going to be a tough one for Foot to find any opportunities. E even with the way Tamazi's peeking this, you sneak up B, yeah. you maybe get a plant, 5v3 retake, you sneak up B, you push all the way through, he'll either get you or spot you and run away. And that's all they need is the info. Instead, it doesn't look like his impact in this round will have much at all. They are building into what is the completely stacked up site. Four players waiting. Left. Contact held for Martin, and somehow Crack said you done all right there. That looked like a moment where they might get slaughtered, but they brought it back into a potential scenario, although there's a lot of utility still available. The defenders putting into position so many spots now that the spike can't be planted in. Only 14 seconds left. The spams might not kill him off. He'll be able to survive at least a second longer, but it is left all oh, real crack. danger zone somehow. To, to be honest, I, I will say time. I have a lot more confidence in, in Casey. Even after that pistol, I think it shows you the difference. Yeah. They're, they're, they, what, even just look at the way they're playing this round. Mm -hmm. uh, they've allowed the space. I, I think this team is where they've truly been the best in the division is playing off those retakes. Double flash straight through. <laughs> Cena says, hey, you know what? I'm having none of it. And actually, Crax has hit one with that Sheriff. Oh, maybe we spoke a little bit too soon. He's really looking to try and take this one into his own hands, but Shin has been able to trade him out. No weaponry to be retrieved, but also a lot of the angles still made awkward, still made possible oh for Cena to try and hold them back. And a captain up close with a classic. Always devastating. Mr. Farland's found another. This is starting to really fall apart. And the main issue now, Mitch, is that time. Is that clock. As it all looks... Easy. Obviously now onto their defensive side. And it's an aggressive start at that. Yedege may have done a little bit of damage. The combination's nice, but it doesn't quite catch them. Cool idea coming out of foot, but not quite. Well, orb up and fall back. Okay, so you don't want to overcommit to fights. And thankfully for them, they won't have to. It looks like there's going to be a utility dump on the way through Hookah. Tamazi, the only one in danger, but he's got an easy enough bailout. Oh, never mind. And I said they didn't want to fight. Tamazi just goes swinging on that angle, finds one, repositions two, but Crax is ready for it. Ever vigilant TP through. Oh, big fight on its way. I, I thought maybe they'd wait a second for this, but instead they go diving. So with they're not going to gift that over to him. Finishing over aggression is taking fights. Well, they give them oh. none. And then at the start of the round, they bring the fight. Crax loses his life off rip. And he's been a Watch. big... Now, Foot, they have to try and beat the odds. Crax has right definitely had a bit of a resurgence when it comes there. to this second half, but... At least for now, they're going to have to play this one without him leaving with a couple of flashes missing and just trying to get that plant in. Almost trying to bait again, so bait them into the fights. And only now that they have the full force of their squad are they going to try and get into position. The nade dropped, but Anna Captain's done well. Even still, though, trade is immediate. That trade's keeping the favor for KC, and they know CNET could be around this angle, dealing with it a little bit different. But he's got his ice wall out, at least. It will be put into play, and they'll have to break it, buying a little bit of extra time. Mr. Fallen, though, dividing his attention, and Tomasi takes advantage of it. Damage, not a kill. Still two players alive. And with the spike being tapped as we speak, the spray's gonna come through. A kill would give Thrash, at least if the kill was for Mr. Fallen. And he might not need it, never mind! Yeah, but yeah, it's these last couple of shots out oh! from Mac. Try and fight in towards showers instead. An early fight wins them the jewel and Yadage. Another rookie to the league. As I've said many times, it does not feel like it. 
it really doesn't. Yeah, <laughs> you don't see all, too many rookies doing that. Although it's funny to say it in this matchup, but they're right on the other side. True, <laughs> true. Exact true. same. And, well, it, it's not worth committing to this play. Instead, oh, trying to wanted to fight there. It. And that's it. Foot have been taking lamps a lot. That's what this wall is for. Cracks. Unfortunately, a little bit of a recon beam going up in the sky as they eventually take control. They meet Shin and the spams through the smoke. Well, they've caught cracks again. That's two in a row. He won't be res this time. He's dropped for good. Fight back from Mr. Fall and gets one. Thrash is online. No safe space to use it, but they're out. At least one is too safe, and the other still out on bat. Looks like Foot will be com uh, yeah, comfortably enough able to get this plant through. Thrash online. Rez. Yeah. Planted. I mean, good luck to you if you Justice manage that, Rez. Maybe down. you could sneak up late. Yeah. Go through the TP, but that's just not how you want to play this round. I, I was wondering oh, yeah. if Cena would Monster hang around a little bit, wait for that right, rotation. Thrash is basically just being used as a deterrent, allowing him to get back into position, and then it's going to be held for the late round. I don't mind the idea, the push! It is bold from out of captain. Trying to get into a position to catch them off guard, but they are moving as a unit. As and they put Martin to try and shut down Yedege, and well, he does do that, but it's going to be, I guess I don't need to res you. Oh, Viper's Pit. Now that's going to cause a couple of problems. See, Snake Bite's already burned up by Tamazi. He's got one left to play with, but have to put the orb up. So he's not going to be able. To oh, that's actually Yedege's orb. So never mind. He won't be putting that up. So at this point, there's no real denial. Those players Found could be one. pushed out, but the Seekers get some information. Players outside of B, at least one as the Seeker gets destroyed, and a second two. KC have the info now. They, they have seen that there are players B. Yet they commit to the stack. I think the, the thing is that they play, what Foot did was they played so far back that the Seekers go deep enough that it looks like they're building up around that A site. But they were back towards mid. They were holding, so they gambled on the KC side. And Foot, they basically gambled that they would do that. A smart way to play with those rotations. Out of captain, this fight could be everything. It's definitely a little bit more awkward. He dodges the flash, and the shots eventually connect. I feel like Magnum probably could have had him once or twice there. Now, though, Foot just starting to dominate, leaving Shin alone. Ready and waiting. An aggressive hooker spot as well in case there's a rotation back. And it is just going to be this brawl on the A site once again. Well, out of captain. Hit all five with paranoia, but not with his ability. Now, though, they've realized where he is as he steps into the fight. All right. Well, he was looking at heaven. He should have been looking at the walkout. Three kills coming back from Casey. It's winnable yet again. They're not letting go of these rounds. But they might be forced to let go of the plant at least. Playing for the post. Shin walled off. No real chance to cause any sneaky plays. And so they'll group up instead. Viper's Pit for Tamazi. Online and enabled. Recon dart used. Shin just goes ulting in to spot both players, but I think he only saw one. Might not have gotten to turn around in time. The Viper's pit up. This is going to make it difficult, but CNET around the side. He could look for a spam. The spike's being tapped. He wants to move in to see him. And it all comes down to timing, which is near perfect for CNED. Now they wait out the decay. No, they so don't. He, he had an op earlier, but he's given it over to Narrate instead. Playing timing. a closer angle, and Ooh, that's why. Okay. Two quick kills, and the third from Shin. KC. They definitely got their hands on the reins now. Yeah, he's been lights out in this match. So many important openers when it comes to this defensive side, especially. Two versus four scenario. As they look to try and make their way, continuing into this site. Shin still having his paranoia from earlier, just going to slow them down even further. The push coming up behind them as well eventually. So it feels like Foot really need to find themselves the kills here. And if they use the TP, their opponents will be waiting. Oh no, this left. is going to be commitment. Wall saved, perhaps for the spawn, but they have to fight for it first. Shin's in their way! They have the chance to use it. Here comes the first thrash of the round. Thrown in towards this site, and it might oh. catch Martin. In fact, it will, but he's already out and safe. This player's covering him, but Shin was spotted and spammed that, so he'll give up that control. And the A site, under a lot of threat. Mosh might buy some time, but another thrash to go through. This time, Mr. Fallen falls, and then the shot connected by Nare. Pulls the thrash out as the defenders now throw theirs in to try to slow down this attacking side. And a captain has... I don't know if he's quite snuck his way in. They're definitely expecting it. In fact, I see Nari holding it. But now, there's no chance TP was used to claim Spike <laughs> after the wall down. I mean, okay. <laughs> Seaman went to get it, took damage from it, gone. and then they used the TP. It's just... See that it's taking a ridiculous amount of damage for Planted. basically no reason at all. That, that's very, very badly communicated. 
by the side of foot. Now they're going to have an even bigger deficit. And as we've said, when it comes to these retakes, this is where the death ball of KC comes alive. Now oh, it's just been ruthless every time. Seen Ed's now backing up inside of Hookah, be able to provide some support, but well, actually not the death ball. Split into two two-man squads this time for KC, Ooh. and that could be a mistake. Tamazi able to double up though, and that round is already sealed. Seen Ed solo tucked in the corner. KC. not a lot to do that with on the foot side and instead you have a sage so i guess you're just gonna lop off those angles instead yeah, yeah it's a weird one i i am curious to see why they've changed this up to go for the sage what benefits it's gonna bring that that other agents wouldn't for now a plan secured for foot with very little early fighting in fact only points of damage done are towards out of captain there's just a small tap from a ghost through the smoke the retake attempt from kc somewhere they've been fantastic is actually being disrupted yeah is in the corner unspotted and able to find so much value reloading even and he had a chance with another half second to pop off a few more shots in the rain shut him down in time but he'd already done so much damage now foot have the advantage to play with the numbers there it's not even really been one side because you could talk about okay they got 11 rounds over on the attack when they were playing versus team heritage those early fights against a team like foot who love to duel yeah. and off rip they've lost one player but it's traded out very quickly well, that, that is the thing that even though they have some weaponry deficit cena is still just running in in a spot where the gun is irretrievable unless they're going to go back in the late round. And by the looks of it, they are not going back in the late round. They're going to try and just run through all of Tamazi's utility. Yenergy has got to a ridiculous point. Eventually, Magnum is the one to close him out. It is just sheer aggression. W gaming. Maybe they learned something from Paperx, even though Paperx lost. <laughs> Pretty dramatically. And now, well, building into what could be a late rotation back. I said, Mr. Fallen still doesn't have a gun. So if he goes round towards a main, there would still be Cena's gun to find, but he's currently a lone crack, though. He's going to be able to win a fight. This is still a round that Foot might be able to turn. Beautiful as well. Uh, a glimpse inside cracks his mind. He takes the first fight and just swings back out for more. Oh, Never dear. letting it go. That rifle's not retrieved by Mr. Fallen. Instead, he's done just that. Fallen left. outside of A and giving KC the idea that that's where the play is coming down. So they're going to be on their toes with one player already on the site. And Tamazi alongside Narrate back in the spawn, covering off these angles. The time down. goes on. 15 seconds left. Foot will eventually have to commit to getting this plant in. Utility is limited. Ten no orb left. to play with it. I can see it's on site, obviously, but now I even walled off, so out of captain ain't getting that back. Spike Most planted. importantly, it's not going to be on the spike, so no post plant utility, no snake bite to deny. Instead, it has to be the fights for out of captain, and he's good at those. The first one, the snake bite, perfect in the swing, but Shin wins it. Clean on the headshot, and he needed that. Only a few bullets. One, in fact, on 42, while vulnerable, would have taken him down. Cracks below. It timing is everything, and oh, he's lost it. They know where he is. They put yeah, him in a four. It's being watched this time, and they're ready for this push to come through. Two players on the site. Magnum might be giving away that he's on his own. But Tamazi's now, well, actually dropped. He split from both sides at no chance. They're going to play the retake on the defensive side, and they're going to have to deal with that wall as well. Yeah, very reactive attack side right now from Foot. Playing aggressively, A, eh, if they're challenged too much, falling straight back into a seaside tank. Relying on the openers as well. Yedishe again. This guy just pulls off ridiculous kills, taking over the round on his own once more. A third already. Crossfire. Stephanie doesn't need any help. And finally, Shim will put him down in the back. You almost wonder where his teammates were there. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, I've killed everyone. Could you could you watch my flank, please? But they will now look to close it, Shin. This time we're not switching off. them on the other side of the map, opening the door to B, looking for control on C, but now they've spotted Yedishe. With that, you might think it's only the lurk, but without things have gone so far, yeah, they're starting to read. No, this is an A play left. instead. It, it might feel a little insecure. Are they actually taking A? Heard an updraft, that means nothing, but Rez comes through, Spike comes in, and now Viper's pit for out of captain. Big pit to play inside of, I don't know how CNET's got a kill there. That must have been a spray through the pit to find it. Gorgeous play either way, intended or not. And now, to fight back through this, 
they are in a lot of trouble. I mean, that flank is barely going to matter because those players could come out the back of the Viper's pit and instead actually got Mr. Fallen spotting Tamazi, slowing down the Rethic, splitting these players up and making it even easier to deal with them. The decay running it down. <laughs> well, Shin, I don't know if he got the comms on where Mr. Fallen was, but uh, oh, that was a little awkward. Yeah, I did. It has worked out wonderfully. Because the, the fact is, they've been denied in their retake. They're even getting denied in their aggression. It's the same again. Yeah. And, and that's Martin. Now. Martin has been wrecked, this game, by the way. He has one kill, and it was that kill on uh, Yellow Jade. That's it. He was leading those early duels last time, but oh, not this okay. time around. The turrets Timmy. helped out. Even oh. caught out of captain. Cracks will heal just about him. Well, you can thank his lucky stars that that turret wasn't online still. They would have dropped him. Op up top for the retake, not ideal. In fact, you're going to see Shin swap Ooh. it out on the way. Instead, the Vandal now in hand, the rotate in. But Tamazi's here early. I think earlier than they'll yet. realistically expect. Getting something done will be committed. very difficult in the camp. Now it's spotted them. Now they've got that information to play with. I don't know where Crax is going. He's going to be late to the party, but they've got the util to potentially delay them. They've got Tamazi, though, picking up Yedige. Now Mr. Fallen's alone, and this could start to get very scary unless Crax quickens the pace. Mr. Fallen has to hold strong in the site. It's only a matter of time. There's the peak, but Tamazi falls, and the flank comes to the ground. And they're never really allowed to because of these weird flanks. Now straight off the bat, an immediate explosive start. KC have had enough of sitting on the back foot, and in this round, Round. They tried to put the pressure on. They've got the information a little bit early. The problem is, is the timing. They've got to try and get into position. Tomazi needs to get something here, and he will find one, but the trade is immediate, and his teammate's gone as well. Yeah, Magnum only had a shorty, so that was a real Hail Mary play. And with the res in, the impact is negligible. In fact, it, it's null and void. And the kills keep going their way. Foot not letting go of this one with Shin and Martin. You know, there is a showstopper online for Martin. I would be perplexed if he was to use it here. In KC have had a lot of ults for a couple rounds, but haven't I, had the chances to use them. This wasn't the round for it. I thought he might use it at the beginning when they went for that explosive sort of Maybe. like util dump. Like that seemed like the perfect spot to use a, a showstopper. But again, it is just the context of the round. But. Also, I'm, I'm gobsmacked at what we're watching right now. Coming in with a little bit more of a, an obscure composition on this map. Got a lot better on this map, but eight to one, incomprehensible difference. And I think it does fall back to exactly what, what Uli was saying to me. This team loves to fight, and this map is built for it. But this is a level that, that goes yeah. beyond my comprehension because KC are good at fighting. Oh, now they have a chance, okay. though. Showstopper already in, and Martin up close. Go. Oh, Cracks already found a trade. And a captain there as well. These post plants have been sublime, but this time they managed to get into position. There is still a snake bite available. They need to do something to get in here. And actually, they might just be able to stick this one. If they can get in onto the defuse once that snake bite is gone, and a captain has to go through this. And round is over. There's nothing he can do here. The Odin in play. They're a little off the Ooh. angle in the spray. <laughs> Main course. I'm going to push in. I'm going to try and kill someone. It is, it's manic. This time, they've shut him down, but even still, they're heading in towards this A-site, and there is still opportunities here. Mr. Farlin is just walking. Yeah, I mean, he, he took a timing as the door was about to close. The haunt faded. It's going to be an Odin love. It is. I, I'm 99% sure. They, they're pinging it, aware he could be here, but with the wall going down, left. with the lockdown in play, this is forcing foot back. They might want to utilize this position. <laughs> Mr. Fallen dies trying to claim it. Still three players from KC here. And a nightmare. The nightfall comes in, catching them all. Two at least, and the first already fallen out of captain. Out of here, 12 seconds left. Reposition from Magnum is remaining. perfect. Sublime left. play from the side of KC, letting nothing <laughs> slip. <laughs> so the map, the side of the map where they know there's so much to play with, and the paranoia will get nothing but the information that there's a player there. Shin staying close, though, in this case, drops it all on the line. Both players jumping, but Yedige is a little quicker to find that. And now they can look towards this A site, seeing it's wide open, but seeing even more so that the rotates are coming through. The site's being given up ah. on C. The hole, the wall for Magnum gives him an angle. He's using it against them. The battle oh for C, though. He completely distracts them as they look for the fight on the players entering site. CNED's there behind, giving them a fright and leaving Narrate all alone. The 99% of the players out there. That's not, not the a right good one. though. And yeah. actually, I think that was more. That four was people. That was Magnum. Magnum hits the dig. I was about to say, a frenzy from there already is looking much better. Just a, an absolute blitz in towards this A site in the pistol round on okay. the side of KC. 10 4. 
Ten four it is. <laughs> For God's sake. <laughs> I mean, Sue had her, her fun fact up earlier, and it is three out of three so far. When Foot lose the pistol, 100% of the time, they to, win the follow-up. The follow stat up. has to end sometime. It does. It does. And, and the pistol round isn't over yet, you know? Still got You're the right. save ball. How about now? The rain. Looking like he might just, just have to be careful of this. The, the scene at Marshall, yeah. So you got to be kind of careful of that. Took in a lot of closer angles. They're not going to give those opportunities away quite as easily. There's three players, and now sort of is a stack on A that they're running into. But up against those weaker weapons. Casey at the advantage. Extended with cracks falling, and eventually they'll finish off Yedige. Approaching every fight with a sense of caution, and this is why they've ended up back in a 2v2. And out of Captain's Classic is still alive. What's happening? How is Cena getting three in this round? They've no idea where out of Captain is. And he's cut noise just in time. That Classic has crushed the dreams of teams before and it may just do it again with magnum not not exactly low but with 30 seconds left tom he has to plant that spike he has to give it away 30 seconds the turret will help him at least lock down some control i got the spike Could be anywhere at this stage slight upgrade of the rifle the information will be there. Snake bite in! Similarly to what we saw on the other side, though. Magnum has used this to take a lot of control. Tomazzi already tagged down to just 17 HP. And you can already see at least a couple of players around this angle. You're going to have the HP of Anacaptain back up to fall as well as they look to enter into the site. They had themselves that nightfall, but already Yedeje is going to put one in the dirt, a second as well, even the low HP and blinded up. Yedeje is still putting up numbers. Leaving the remaining three just to potentially try and fall back with the door opening. You're going to see still a player around that B site, Mr. Farlin, waiting if they try and double back in that direction. And even seen it on C. Covering all their bases in case it's a fake and with so little noise being made, eventually someone's going to peek out for a little bit of information. Left. Looks like that will come through on the defensive side and for the defensive side. Remaining. Timing almost hard. All of other teams' comps, yeah. but to each their own, and for foot, it's functional. CNET running his dash down out of captain's been spammed through that. As we've said before, KC with a man advantage are normally pretty good. They've oh. cleared out the energy already. As said, he's been a danger man and also got the information onto CNET. This after plant should be in, and well, for the side of foot, it's now a question of how much do you believe in a 3v5 retake? It's just one of those missed calls. There's no way for Foot to know what was about to happen, but they decide to gamble on the other side, pull CNET offside. He can't destroy the Prowler. He can't draw their eye on the way through, and he can't support his teammate as he goes down. Those numbers for KC looking strong. Credits they're riding a little low for Foot. If they got an opening pick, they could go there. for it, and there it is, Martin. The first to be dropped. HP low on a lot of these players still committing to this. I mean, that time, Tom, seems to be ticking away a, a little bit too quickly. And now, Mr. Fallen wants to get out of there. He's Mr. Fallen back. In a little bit of trouble for, for CNED. In fact, the round's already kicked off as we see the aggression from KC met by cracks. And he finds a bullet from Shin. <laughs> it just puts his life on the B site. Sure, it'll be met with a cam, but it won't be met with any other resistance. Yeah, there's no one to follow up on that information. In fact, the cam, there we go. It's revealed oh. them, and it'll stay dormant for now. They haven't spotted where it is. Oh, now they have. And, and for Planted. what purpose? I suppose they, yeah. they could already hear them planting. I don't know. Seems like a waste of some post-plant utility, but looks like they've got that information to play with either way. Yeah, a little bit more aggressive post-plant. He's put Cena in an awkward spot, but he hasn't taken any yeah. damage. And a captain, however, has. He will be... That player coming in from behind as well. The turret attempting to be surpassed. Hasn't gone fantastic either. Mr. Farland's position is definitely known. And there's a, a stack up of players on the other side. Utility denying Yedeje from really doing anything on the plant. And the post plant from KC is nigh on perfect. Do you think they might have to change up the way they're playing? We go, though. No purchase this time. Only seen it. Only. He always seems to be a menace. Nightfall placed through, but it hasn't really connected onto anybody. They are still going to continue their push. Cracks was the one man on the site. He has been forced back. And it looks like they might just opt to try and set up around CNED's 
Singular rifle. He's still going strong. A second kill already in this round is starting to fall apart a little bit for KC. Oh, there's definitely some struggles. The low buys of foot being so deadly throughout their last series and this one. Rifle recovered for CNET. Blade Storm in his back pocket. I'll find you. Almost expect him to give that to Cracks. They have three rifles now as they set their sights on the site itself. KC very much fragmented. There's an initial duel on Nare, unable to trade. The slow had kept them in position. And now all hope lies with Martin. Showstopper in, and it's caught a kill. The ace with the nade, the shorty. In fact, to find it, Martin. A scene end. Well, he was definitely a worthy opponent in this one. If it managed to find a multitude of openers, but every single piece of utility put into play in with a shot. Two round gap, so winnable. Quick play by Martin, but it's shut down immediately. Shot out of CNET, doesn't land. But with Martin down, the rest of the players are a little further back. The wall won't keep them out for very long. It does allow a little bit of a reposition from Mr. Fallen, who's close and ready to fight. Sneak through from Tamazi as we're on board with him. Viper's Pits blocking out B, but it looks like they'll bypass that with a crunch from Spawn and from the connector. The idea here, hopefully, Tamazi can pick them up as they move into position. The rotates out of the A site being watched, and he's turned at the wrong moment! That timing is abysmal! Surely Magnum, though, the second surprise element as they rotate back to the A site, he can get a beautiful flank. Everything comes down to timing for him with a player coming behind. It's only a matter of time until he turns, oh, but never mind. Lucky. Yet Ajay wins the fight anyways, and will spam through under the rate. It's Shin left alone. One man against five from foot. A near impossible clutch, and... Well, he can take the bragging rights back from Martin if he wins this one. The spike down in the open, next to no information, and 30, 30 seconds, seconds left. left. It looks like this one is already in the bag with an 11 to 8 scoreline. We could even ask the question of how much damage it can will he be watched by Magnum as he covers B, and I think his turret's watching behind him. So these players can make noise on A, and that's all this is. They're trying to be loud and trying to drag those rotations that have come in again and again, trying to get that flank underway so it can be capitalized on by Magnum. Maybe someone comes up on B and pokes their head around, and he can rip it right off and get a straight play through connector to B. It's not a bad idea, but it hasn't found value. Eventually, they've got to go for it without the picks, and it'll be door open and B blitzed. Back close angle's cleared. Boombot will do that. On to him. Ready throwing the extra U2 again, that cam. Similar place as what we've seen it before. By the looks of it, it might just have to be a, a full-on retake here. The Viper's Pit will be utilized. Now, those stingers are going to be even more fearsome up close, but Cracks isn't shying away from a fight. It's an awkward one, but he still manages to win it. Out of captain's round, Tamazi as well, and somehow, from what looked like it could be dangerous. And over this direction, guys. Just fire back. Oh, nice he shot. shot him. Five HP already. Can't catch a break. Well, at least now CNET's missed a shot. Oh, I, I know who can't go through that snake bite. <laughs> you should run. It's already, that was one of the weapons they've had. They've had to hand it over on the other side. Lockdown is going to be put into play. Doesn't seem like Foot are going to over-rotate just yet. Still wary that this is a ruse and CNET was trying to just hit the shot. It will be detained, but they're not going to mind it too much, especially without Spike a captain down. doing that. And they thought they had a way into the site. The man just disrespected him. He was Cena's defender. Cena would have died if he went down as well. A ludicrous display from Anna Captain. And maybe the end of the map. It doesn't even stop them from going backside because you have someone like Shin who, who's shrouded stepping past the snake bite. He can get there early. So for him to just run out like that is, is, is ludicrous. But it works. Of course it does. This is foot we're talking about. Five versus three, five HP on Martin. Oh, no. He's out. And it looks like just Tamazi, the last man standing and the last to fall in this game. At least on this map, Breeze is up next to foot secure a 13 to eight. And my, what a map that will be. 20 seconds left and an ops. Individually rather than the comps. CNED leading the charge, back on his jet. That might just be enough. It's enough to win my heart, Tom, for whatever that counts for. Already some decay with the walls, but no bullets landed just yet. This is a frankly disgusting position from Yedige. And he's got them by oh, surprise, but what? Martin somehow wins that fight.
Ever vigilant for the reflank up through tube. Advantage sits towards the defenders. And KC have been pretty good at getting back into sights. Limited utility as they make their way back through. It's a pistol round after all. And maybe Foot can just run down that clock. As KC tap the spike, someone needs to swing to check. It's not being stuck, and it comes at the cost of their life each time. Halfway already, and now they all look to duel on the side of KC, knowing that out of captain's the last alive. The snake fight will soon fade. Straight away. Revealing area. I'm gonna see the close angle cleared nice. by the fragment. Just basically they're reducing the positions where CNED could be stopped from. Same with the shot dart over the back and this post pawn already in effect, not been anything really able to deny it. A few counter pieces of utility. The drone not even used in the take. The drone is used in the post pawn. Cracks, however, has been hit. You mentioned that outlaw. He's on 10 HP. Oh, yeah, I mean, anything's going to take him down now. We need to see the fights come through, though. CNET onto Tamazi. It's a clean trade, but KC are closing the distance. That's all they want. That's an ambitious peak. The idea being that Magnum could trade. He got one, no follow up on it. And the shots landing make it ever more difficult for KC to find any value with Shin. There is a cam watching, which will be immediately destroyed. And now the pressure is in on that B-side once again. Still a trap on site for Tamazi, but how's he getting out of this one? Hunted down by Mr. Fallen. But the kills have come in across the board. Yereje and CNET have been lost. Big players for the side of foot. Now another hero has to step up, Spike and they better step B. up quickly. The spike's been dropped in standing. the open, and now it's fully secured by KC. Four versus one. Mr. Fallen would be one hell of a clutch with the outlaw. He won for the books, stays alive for the late round. That's a disaster. Assisted. Foot can't allow that to run, and instead, they're going to be going back to B to finish what they started. Tamazi, they don't want to let him out of here alive this time. It's out of captain that might have the chance to... Oh, no, never mind. The dash in from Cena. He, he's going in with an op in hand on the close range angles. The blade storm from Martins grabbing something, but Nare down to the op as Cena doubles up and gets a little ambitious. One enemy Had a remaining. Captain. And the, that duel onto Tamazi quick enough. And again, just some fantastic utility. I think it was from Mr. Fallen. Oh, nice shots by Cena as well. It's the mid push that I'm most concerned about. Both Shin and Mark. Instead, the reliance, again, seems to be on Cena. Util will be offline. I think he must have popped the cage just before, though. And that is actually going to buy just about enough time. Walks back into the ping as well. So okay. they're going to have the information. There are a couple other players on the map, and the spike is now rotating uh, seemingly in towards A, but they haven't cleared anything out. 35 seconds left on this clock. Draw. A close position as well from Magnum. 30 seconds left. It just has to be a fight here. Uh, even if you get the first, there's backup, not just in Martin. Even if you get him, there's backup, because Shin's here too. Take Spam gets Magnum, Drone eventually goes out. Two players coming to reinforce this push, but no Viper wall. They've got to take the fights in the open. Standing 14 ahead. seconds left. Time really starting to run down, and not much of a reveal here. Martin, eight seconds. He just needs to deny this, and he'll go for it. A kill quickly Five found. Plans. A shot from CNET might keep them back for a moment. Put some hesitation into play for these defenders. Martin's going walkabouts. Has an operator of his own. Magnum also going pushing, oh, and it's exactly a snap it. from Yedige. Just that little bit quicker on the reactions. That gets them a lot of info to three players towards this spawn. They know they can isolate Tamazi. Pressure him back, spam him up. He's 30 HP as he rounds the corner to safety. Won't be too impactful in the, the late fights by the looks of it. And there'll be no utility for a little while uh -oh. as the spike eventually gets planted. And for KC on the way back through, Martin's going to hope to find an angle with the operator. I think probably the point of contact for this defensive side will be him. Scoped in, looking for something. Yedige still lurking. They're wise to it. They're clearing it, but <laughs> not good enough. Mass amount of KC's attack because of their dominant defensive side when they played up against a GX in week number one. But we know that their defense is impeccable when it came to picking up a lot of those rounds. Capitalize on it. Instead, is some fake control as they spread out and look for individual fights. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like out of captain found his. I oh, can see the frustration in the cameras off from Martin. You just got to be fuming. It just gets insta-popped. Out of captain has gone down early in a lot of these rounds. Instead, now, again, the pressure comes on to the young man from Portugal trying to hold the backside, and it's close, but no cigar. 
In fact, they're all dropping like flies. Narei tries to get back in and help, but he's a little bit late. Cena may go down to a shock, don't know. It's instead going to bounce onto Cracks, who's taking a lot of damage. And actually, with Magnum finding another, if this kill goes oh, the other way, this is starting to fall apart. 37 and 11 HP, Tom. Two players extremely low, and both are the ones on site, isolated by this Viper wall. Magnum, he snuck around up close, but the shot is found too quickly in the flank from Yedige. Remember, Tamazi repositioned last round to avoid it, and he's getting hit by it again. And it, it, it's hunting oh, him down no. every single time, and now revealed, and... Oh my god! <laughs> it's I mean, just everything. a Hunter's Fury and a nade, a dash in from Cena. There was nowhere to go. No, he even gets pinged by the dart as well, so they, they knew exactly where he was. No surviving that one. Welcome to my world. They're even going to throw in the Viper's Pit up close. Oh, I don't even know if he'll be needed. Cena just kills everybody. Martin tries. Himself the Blade Storm thrown in immediately. <laughs> Martin's like, right, this time they're not mid. I'm telling you. And well, I'm sure Narei probably agrees. Hunter's Fury is going to help out massively. They're trying to use these ults to pad the gap, but Cena has now popped one of his own. He realized what's going on a little bit earlier than anyone else. Oh, that flash is perfect, Martin. He had no chance with the pop from Krax. Krax's utility is just out of this world. You see why we talk about this guy on a KO. He might have lost his life here, but the trades make it worthwhile. Leaving only Tamazi. And they take him one by one. Better than what he's been up against so far. And even still, what a huge round. It was the ult spam. It was what they threw in, but ultimately it came down to this map. It's going to land on his head. Martin also, I was about to say, has not been having much success with the op. He's been better with the rifle. Every time he's had the operator, it seems like he's been slaughtered. And while this time, again, something he probably didn't expect was Mr. Fallen coming in with an op, solo peeking him and managing to win the fight. It's left Magnum isolated, taking a lot of spam. He was hoping he could maybe find the plan. Instead, he's found everything else. Welcome to Tomazi's world, Magnum. Every single piece of utility. But they still have managed to get that plant in. Shock darts still available. Magnum, I don't know where he's going to get to use them. And instead, Anna Captain now splitting in from the back line. It's going to make things just that little bit worse. Even still, though, Casey are clinging to life. The fight back not going to happen as Yedige comes through. And now Shin left in a clutch. At least we'll catch all his kills this time. One versus two. You get off that third person cam now. Mr. Fallen and Cena <laughs> sitting around with the information to work with. He's still around here. As the recon gets destroyed, the wall cutting it up, still going for aggressive plays. This is full oh. we're talking about. Three-man push, and that timing could not physically be any better. If you choreographed it, they are slipping right behind them. Will they see them? No. There's an orb up. It's dropped, and there you go. All oh, oh. out of the open for Cena. Right Easy pickings with three quick kills. This round seems to be done and dusted. I swear to God, no one else's ghost works like that. Like, normally, you'd see someone spam 15 bullets at the back of their head. See that though, it just doesn't, it doesn't miss at all. This is why you want to see this man on jet. Don't get no stopping him here today. 17 kills on this map like already. It, it doesn't, like I've seen so many players so up behind clean. someone like, oh, oh. Are they about to set him up? It looks like they might have a flash for this. They do counter flash, but it's not needed. Great shutdown. Sight, knife on A. That's going to keep three players here. That single piece of utility, Cloudburst used, Dash heard, and two players spotted with the knife. Huge information, but okay. capitalizing on it is something else entirely. Evidently, could have been shut down. This was a, a bonus round with some serious bite left. to it. Yeah, but, uh, well, they've come out of that one empty-handed. No, you could even see the foot were willing to sort of push Planted. the boundaries, get aggressive. They do still have to be careful, though. All right, they've kept this one nice and clean. A good way to build up the finances, but... Yedige is someone that you don't really want to give anything over to. The fact is, other than the rate, they're all sat back, waiting within A main. Yedige just slowly encroaching. Doesn't have any utility to close the gap. And well, you can yeah, see that how to get through there. You never really saw the impact you needed to coming out of Yedige, but the traps are still online. Yedige is on the other side of the map, so as they walk through, they still haven't realized, still haven't walked right into them. And when they do, that's the chance for Ada Captain to show up. That's Shin down on the back of some information. All thanks to Yedige. Spike planted. Yeah, he's managed to give them that man advantage. Almost extends it a little bit further. Spams 
Look at coming through the wall in the rain, trying to play a cheeky angle, and it has worked out. Even still, though, and a captain there again for the trade. The flash solid, but Magnum not quite able to capitalize and add a utility on B to have other players there realizing that th there's a good chance the rate comes in and pops his null command that they storm the site on the back of that. There is nothing within this B site. In fact, the only trip is in case they get aggressive from mid. Well, they would have been shock darted on the way through, so effect is the same. It's whether they expect Yadage to still be here. You've got to be conscious of these angles anyways. That's where the rotates are going to come from. But it's, it's ex exactly where Ada Captain was last round. So if they're, if they're not expecting it, you'd have to almost be a little bit foolish. Seen it? Not able to connect that initial shot. Now they'll definitely know. I don't know where Shin has just died from. A straight up wall bang from Mr. Fallen. And they are now falling like flies. Every single member of KC an attempted fight back. Of things stacking up against. Knife is used to try and give him a little bit of extra information. I, the thing is, that you don't want to push into a pit anyway, but pushing into a pit versus out a captain who's been so good. And the read, honestly. Is sublime. Nice They're going to take away the rest of his utility. The flash will help him out a little bit. And a captain definitely under pressure, but Cena is just watching from behind. They're finally going to get towards him, finally going to clear him out. But there's so many more players here that they have to deal with. 20 seconds left. Shin will put another One on the death toll. But Mr. Farlin was just hiding in the back of the side. He was waiting. Oh, these next five rounds. Unfortunately, as well, the buy stinks. It sucks. You've, you've got like literally a pistol on one of the players. Now, straight away, they are going to be to take the util off this time. Cena hasn't been needing to use much of it. And the Hunter's Fury definitely helping out, giving Yedeje the extra space oh, to just dominate. Oh, no. A 